Hey YouTube. I decided to take a video. I haven't done one for a couple weeks now and I just fed the tank so everything's pretty active and swimming around. Uh, there's a couple of pellets still floating on the water and there's some down on the gravel so the fish and the shrimp are all out kind of looking for food right now. You can see my crypt is really doing well. The leaves that are tall, wavy, and a little bit more brownish are all new growth, and every plant has at least two new leaves. Some have three or even four. So there's four plants. I planted four plants up here, and I already have two new growth, or two new plants growing here in the gravel. Uh, I vacuumed all of the gravel where they're planted right before I planted them, and I haven't vacuumed it since. And uh, they seem to be thriving. I think the secret to getting Crypt to grow in straight gravel, I know Dustin on Dustin's fish tank said he can't ever get it to grow. I think the secret is probably having a slightly overstocked tank, uh, which only really works if you have a really small volume tank to begin with. So the Garami is still my favorite fish in here. It's really entertaining. I enjoy watching it a lot. My neons are all really healthy. My shrimp population is really good. And this wisteria here is just growing like mad. It's throwing up a new shoot about once a week. And I have to trim them every once in a while. I take them back and throw in the glowfish tank. I don't know if you can see the crypt back there, but those plants also have new growth. There's three plants back there and they all have new growth too. So this tank's really getting kind of grown up. I think I might trim the wisteria back from the center and open up the middle of the tank again. But this crypt seems to like all the shade that it's getting from the wisteria too, so. I'm just gonna sit back and let you watch the tank. So I don't see many shrimp out right now, but when they find tidbits of food on the gravel, the honey garami comes over and kind of chases them away. It doesn't ever try to eat the shrimp or anything, it just swims up and intimidates them until they swim away and then it takes their food. So it's kind of entertaining to watch and I make sure there's plenty of food and then there's this giant bundle of moss back here. So. The shrimp don't want for food. The honey garami helps keep the moss clean a little bit as you can see. Alright, thanks for watching.